happy Wednesday. <laughs> I was kind of losing track of days because obviously we had bank holiday Monday. Yesterday was so busy with client stuff as Tuesdays always are. And now we're on Wednesday. Um, but we have just over a week until the competition. It's on a Saturday. So we will take you through a bit of a day in the life which you've seen a million times. I can't wait until after lockdown <laughs> or even after about a week's time next Monday because gym's open, things start to open a little bit and we can come out of my flat and we can do a filming outside. So I'm really excited about that. But today, yeah, I will give you a bit of an update. Um, hmm, what's changed since I last talked to you? Ah. So my steps have changed significantly. I'm not doing 18K anymore. I'm on 11K, which is so much nicer. Um, my cardio is changed a little bit, has changed a little bit. Instead of 45 minutes every single day, I'm still doing that plus an additional 20 minutes, which I was only doing on training days, but now I'm doing on every day. So it's like 45 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the evening, or if I feel energised, then I just do the full thing, <laughs> all in one go. Um, training has stayed the same with weights. I think I will try and fill my pull day today, because that's the day I'm on. And my diet is still the same, uh, my weight is coming down, although it did stay the same, just because I was in my period. <laughs> that's like the only reason um but coach is very happy with how everything's going and yeah we've got like the final push um i'll be very interested to see what we're going to be doing for peak week next week so i will try and film a lot of peak week just to show you guys well if it's different <laughs> if it's not different then i probably won't but we're almost there and we're going to jump on the bike this morning I've just done my journaling. I had the chocolate digestive bird and blend tea and I think that one's my favourite one. It's really good. So yeah, I'm feeling good, feeling energised, had all my supplements ready and raring to go on the bike. We've just finished up 50 minutes cardio. So I've got 15 minutes to later, which isn't too bad. And I'm actually going to head out straight for a walk, even though I'm a bit sweaty. I'm going to put on like a jumper, tracky bottoms, go for a walk, get in at least 5k steps. And then have a shower, breakfast, train. Also need to pick up a couple of things from the supermarket. So I'll probably do that on the way back from my walk. <laughs> that is the plan. And yeah, I just want to make sure I get in all my training as soon as possible. Because I know my energy is always high in the morning. And then it dips down when it gets to the afternoon. So like yesterday I had clients all morning. So I couldn't even start my training until 11. And I definitely now my energy is a bit lower feel less motivated to do it when it gets later on. Luckily yesterday was a rest day, so I didn't need to train, but I still need to get on my steps and my bike and that was a bit of a struggle. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna get it in, get it done ASAP. <laughs> this is the extent of basically the tracky bottom look, but the other reason I'm gonna get my steps in straight away is because I like to go when I'm still warm because it's extremely cold outside today. I think it's gone down to about minus something because it was snowing. <laughs> it was snowing last night so hopefully it won't be actually snowing now. And yeah, I hope there's no ice around. But yeah, we're gonna go for a walk. Um, oh, I'm hot and sweaty. And then get a little grocery shop for breakfast. Since I last spoke to you guys, I've been on a walk, <laughs> came back, had a shower, had my breakfast, and it was also my pre-workout, which was my cream of rice, berries, and whey you've seen about a million times. Um, and I am now going to do my pull session. So I think I will film it for you guys. Um, and we just run through it. Hey, I get a monster love, que vamos a ser en Paris Saint-Darré. Baila un poquito más, acércate a mí, mamá, que vamos a hacerlo una vez más. Ella baila pero no dice nada, su y lo expresaba con perreíto y con dembow. Saben que ha sido la estrella dándole al reggaetón, ton, ton, ya. Y empieza el flow, esta es la nueva era pero baila todo. Bailona de Maluma y Tego Calderón. Está bien puesta pa' cualquier canción No tabaco y ron y empiezo el flow Desde la nueva era pero baila to Bailona de Maluma y Tego Calderón La nena está bien puesta pa' cualquier canción No tabaco y ron, ron, ron Ella quiere más de lo que vamos a hacer En París a la red Julia Baila un poquito más Acércate a mí 
cuadra con mi hueso El que a ti te baila sabe eso Y nos ponemos bien traviesos Esos son efectos del proceso Solo con esa mirada sé lo que quieres Se ve muy educadita, hace sus deberes Siempre ha sido la envidia de las mujeres Por toda esa belleza y cómo se mueve Sabes como tú me dejas después del party En ti pensando Cuando tú te sientes sola como una loca A mí me llamas Qué casualidad que pienses en lo mismo que yo estoy pensando Escondernos en la playa jugando a solas de madrugada Quiere más de lo que vamos a hacer En París a la regulia Baila un poquito más Acércate a mi mamá Que vamos a hacer De una vez más Ella es una asesina La baby a mí me domina Ya me tiene loco Malo del coco Ni se imagina Session complete. As you can see, I try and make it as effective as possible for a little home workout, um, but we've only got now like five days until John's reopen, so I cannot wait. Although it's going to be strange getting back on peak week because obviously I don't want to change too much just for my competition. Um, so it'll probably be more likely afterwards I'll be back into serious workouts, which I honestly am so excited about. <laughs> like I want to tell you guys the very, very, very exciting news because I'm just bursting with so much excitement that I can't wait. Um, basically, I am in the process of purchasing a flat. So it's kind of been an idea in my head for a while um, and obviously I've lived in lots of sh shared houses and renting studio flats which you kind of see in renting this flat in Reading which is great but it would be really nice to have like a solid base um, because I know I always want to travel and I've you know I've told I know, I've told everyone I've told my parents this <laughs> there will always be times especially in the winter that I want to be in Asia um, but bearing this in mind I want to have kind of a place which I can always come back to and probably live in for at least probably six to eight months of the year and then probably three four months of the year I can live in the warmth and the heat um so I have finally reserved a property it won't be ready until November because it's a brand new build um in Oxford and it's a two bed so it's very very good news because one bedroom I'm basically going to dedicate to filming <laughs> um so finally when I launch my membership site it's going to be so much easier because I'm going to have a dedicated room to filming I can do all my tutorials in there I can do all, all my client filming I can do like photo shoot stuff for my Patreon page on there and you know get a proper lighting set up and have a bit of an office and it's also got a balcony and oh my gosh <laughs> it's just amazing so 
that is what I've been very busy sorting out the last kind of Easter weekend and it's been a very good Easter because of it but that is why I haven't really done so much filming it's just been a bit hectic sorting things out um and yeah I really wanted to let you guys know but I, that won't be happening until November so obviously we've got the competition at the moment then I'm thinking probably I will end up spending the summer in the UK um, just because of the current situation with restrictions. Then from September to November I'm hoping to go to Asia for a couple of months um, and just living my you know my dream over there <laughs> um, with all my client stuff that I've got to do and just in the heat. <laughs> That's the main priority and then end of November it's the place I'm moving into it should be completed um, and I think at the moment the completion date is I can't quite remember actually what date it is but the end of November so that is the update that is the exciting news and I am so so happy to bring you guys along my journey with me um, also once as soon as this competition finishes I want to try and make my content a bit more diverse and um, so I'm planning on doing lots of different things like I really want to film a week in the life doing the keto diet, a week in the life of like OMAD, um, filming a bit more out and about, obviously I'll be able to film a home move-in transformation tour <laughs> when I move into my place which would be really cool but also a bit of travel vlogging and if I manage to go on some trips places as of next week restrictions will be easing a little bit so that would be good but it'll be really nice to take you guys outside of this flat <laughs> outside of lockdown and yeah that is the update so i'm gonna insert a clip from my handstand training yesterday um because i'm gonna need my handstands a bit later today and i'm not sure if i'm gonna film them yet so if i do then i might film it and if not then got a clip from yesterday
which is my fifth meal. <laughs> I've got one meal left. Um, the usual chicken with lettuce. I'm gonna add this. And what I've been doing recently is I've been putting quite a lot of this. I didn't actually, this is literally the first chicken meal I haven't, um, but very lazy chopped garlic and it tastes really nice. It also makes the room smell really nice. <laughs> so it's very garlicky. Um, but if you like garlic, then it's definitely a good one to go for. And all afternoon I've been working on programs and also my tax return. So I filed that. Yeah, it's been I haven't even stopped staring at my laptop. Two laptops actually, if you can see I've got two on the go because I have a lot of stuff from like program type stuff on my old laptop and for some reason it won't connect up to the internet here, which is really annoying. But anyway. I needed some stuff from that laptop to get to my other laptop, which is the one I normally use. And so yeah, just seen staring at laptops all afternoon, which is not ideal for me. Um, also, I feel like all afternoon I've just felt so ravenous. I just want to eat food all afternoon, but I've tried to make my meals as voluminous as possible. This is the second one of these chicken lettuce meals. And then I have my usual two cream of rices and I've got egg whites after this. But I think I'm gonna wrap the video. My laptop is doing this really weird thing. I've never heard it before, but like the last two days, this is my old laptop. It says on the hour, or says something about the hour. Obviously it just tells me when we're on the hour. We're not even on the hour, it's, it's on the wrong time. We're at 4.46, <laughs> but yeah, anyway. I'm gonna wrap the video up here because I want to actually edit this video and get it out tonight. Um, have this meal, have my last meal. Probably jump on a phone call with my parents and then chill for a little bit. <laughs> it's been a busy day, busy couple of days. So I hope you've enjoyed that video and I'll see you for the next one, bye.